Pardon my nervousness. My name is Martine Hallou. Ms. Hallou, where are you employed presently? Um, I'm employed in several different places. Um, I'm the executive director of the Palmetto Foundation for Prevention and Recovery. And I'm also employed part-time by the Greenville Police Department. And I'm also employed by an international company as a consultant. And uh, back in uh, January 2017, did you take the position? Yes. And what position did you take? The Community Relations and Correspondence Director for the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. And uh, was that an existing position or a new position? New. And, and who created it? Will Lewis. Right. And uh, what was your starting salary? My starting salary was around 60000 61000 And low sixes? Yes. Right. What exactly did you do with them in that position? Well, I had the privilege of being hired to serve the people of Greenville County. Um, the main facets of my job was to create programs for the citizens of Greenville, residents of Greenville, um, to be more proactive about the outreach um, of the sheriff's office and to basically get to know more about what the community's needs were and then how we could, as a law enforcement, more proactively address those needs. And did you set up uh, any programs while you were in that position? Yes, I did. And can you name a couple of them? Sure. Um, one of the programs that I'm really proud of that I was given the opportunity to set up was called the Voice Program. And this was a proactive way for the law enforcement agency, Greenville County uh, Sheriff's Office, to reach out and address the opioid crisis in Greenville. Um, so basically it was um, the first ever sort of program of its kind in the country where I formed a partnership between the FBI and the DEA, the Greenville County Sheriff's Office and the Greenville County School District. And that program is now being emulated in other places in the country. And I used that methodology for that program to do what I do now at Palmetto Foundation. And now I do that all over the state of South Carolina. Um, another really good one that we established was um, give uh, 20 free heart. So we wanted to sort of curb the um, panhandling issue that we have in here in Greenville County. What issue? Panhandling. Okay. So the homelessness, because we see a lot of transient homeless coming to Greenville. But we also knew that we had to help them in the right way. So I came up with a program that, or I proposed a program to Will, and, and I would have you know that I had to propose everything to Will before I would implement it. Um, so he approved the program and what that was was that we were going to educate the residents of Greenville County that, you know, if people ask you for money, that it's best for you to give them help and not necessarily money. So we came up with this program called 23 Heart where we made a hotline and on that hotline it would list all of the services like shelter, food, and medical care that are available in Greenville and so we tried to promote that to the residents of Greenville to say, instead of giving them money, give them something that's more valuable, which is real help to get them out of their situation. Um, and then another program that we did that was really good, number one, I love the Adopt-A-Cop program that was um, started by, by Will Lewis. Um, and then the other thing that I really liked but that was never implemented was um, what was important to the administration that I was working for was transparency and also to um, really understand what the public's perception of the law enforcement agency was. So I worked really hard and was able to get a partnership formed. Let's talk a little bit more about transparency. Yes. How did that concept or that problem, addressing that problem come about? Um, that was just one of the things that, that Will, when he was interviewing me long, long before he had gotten elected, um, he said that's one of the very important things for him. And so um, I think that, or I would hope to say, that he thought that I had the capability of taking ideas that he had or goals that he wanted to, to achieve and to come up with good ways to do that. Programs and also just being the communicator or the bridge between the law enforcement agency and the people. So that was one of the things that he asked me to do. He's like, can you think of ideas and ways that we could communicate better with the public and be more transparent? Um, a, a law enforcement agency's legitimacy is very important when it comes to the public. So that's what we were doing, and I worked at the University of Chicago to come up with a first ever um, survey on how to gauge how the residents of Greenville were perceiving the agency. A survey of whom? Um, the sur well, basically, it's any time that somebody would get serviced by 
a law enforcement agent from, uh, from the, the sheriff's office, they would be given a card, and on it was gonna be a number that they would remain completely anonymous, and they would fill out an online survey, and all of the data and all the results were not by us, it was by another agency, um, just to see the feedback of people and what they were, how they were experiencing the agency. Did you enjoy your work that? I loved my job. Okay. Um, did you have occasion to meet uh, Savannah Neighbors while you were working there? Yes. And when did you first meet her? Um, I met, first met Savannah, I think it was just in a group meeting where we were all together, um, where I was introduced to her. Um, and just basically, hi, this is Savannah. This is what she's going to be doing. She's my administrative assistant. Um, if you have anything that you'd like to share with me, please go through Savannah and um, to keep things better um, coordinated. Did you have contact with her over the course of the time you were there? Yes. Did you have a conversation with her sometime in February of 2017 about her employment? Yes, I did. And how did that, what was the gist of that conversation? Um, actually, it was very impromptu. I was happened, I happened to be at County Square working on a project, and I saw her and I said, oh, hi, how are you? And she's fine, said fine. Um, and I said, so how are you liking your work? And she said, oh, I love my job. And I said, oh, that's great. And, um, and I said, so are you going to you know, continue? Because I knew that there was something to do with transition, and she was there for the transition, so I wasn't sure if she was going to stay. Um, but she made it clear to me in that conversation that she did not want to stay at the sheriff's office and that she was actually only there for the transition period. Um, that she would, was looking forward to going back eventually to her dream job, she said, um, at DSS. And did she say how long she was going to remain on the job? Well, um, she made it clear that it's better sooner than later that she would like to leave. A few months, not a few years. Correct, definitely. How are you? Doing well. I'm Kevin. How are you doing? Excellent. All right. So tell me a little bit about your background. Okay. Um, so where would you like for me to start? Well, what um, did you do before you started the sheriff's office? Okay. Right before I started the sheriff's office, I was the co-host of a show on 94.5 WGTK, okay. Political Talk Radio. Um, it was based uh, basically political talk and also community issues. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm 41. Okay, so you're a little, uh, you're a little older than Stan. Yes. Right. Um, so in the time period that, when did you start in the working world? Like leave school, did you go to college? Yes. And uh, when you left college, what, when did you join the working world? Um, actually, I joined the working world when I was 15 and a half years old. Okay, and when did you do it like full time? Full time? Um, oh gosh, full time, that's right at 20. 20, 21, mm -hmm. 21. Um, I worked as uh, I worked in sales at first for um, a finance company here in Greenville, and then I was hired by a company that was based here in this area, but they also had a company in Japan. So I worked in Japan for a while, and then was moved to New York City to be the sales and marketing director for a line that that company was bringing to the United States. How long did all that go on? Um, that went on for about for two or three years. Okay. You move on to some other type of sales and marketing. Yes, so sales and marketing. That's correct. Yes, All right. and as well. You um, well, actually, I came to Greenville when first when I was a child, okay. and went to high school here, went to college here at Furman is where I graduated from, um, and then traveled around to New York, and then went back to my um, my home of Lebanon, okay. and I was there for about nine years, I'm and Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Lebanon, Lebanon, Beirut. Lebanon, Beirut. Yes, correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. And so, uh, when did you move to Greenville? Back to Greenville after. That was back in 2014, okay, so in the summer of 2014. Uh, the defendant ran for sheriff. Uh, yes. How did you meet him? There was an interview that all of the sheriff's candidates at that time were coming to interview at WGTK on my show. Okay. So I met every, all, pretty much almost all of the candidates there. All right. And how did you come to talk to him about a job? Um, actually, what I said was, I was like, I'm so glad that someone is running um, that has a different vision, because I had familiarized myself, of course, with, with the interview. Um, and I was happy to see that someone was forward-thinking, thinking of new projects to do um, a new way to basically interact with the community or have the law enforcement agency do that. And, um, and I just said, you know, if you're ever in need of someone who, who can be good at working with the community, 
um, I'll be happy to, I'd be happy if I would be considered for that. How long did you, when did you actually start working for them? Um, my, my hire date was 12-15, December the 15th of 2016. Okay, was December the 15th of 16. Right, so right before he, yes. So did so you they, start with the county like Savannah did and then transition to the sheriff's office? That's correct. So you were like in the transition period as well? That's right. And then when did you leave? When did I leave the sheriff's office? The sheriff's office? Um, this past um, Memorial Day weekend of this year. 19. Yes. Okay. And so you maintain that position through that period of time? That's correct. Okay. Now, the sheriff told you that transit, uh, transparency was critical to his uh, vision for the office. Right. Have you heard these tapes? Yes, I have. Subject to this? Okay. And you know he was talking about people don't need to know, we don't need to tell people that. It's a hassle when people find out things. Yes, unfortunately, that was not the Will Lewis that I was familiar with. Yeah. Certainly not the Will Lewis that the voters hoped they were electing. Is that accurate? Um, I don't know if that's accurate. I don't know what the voters had in their mind, but I know what I did in that in that administration, and I enjoyed my work and did good work. Yes, I'm not questioning that you were committed yes. and passionate about your part of it, but yes. that was a You're most welcome. Just a couple questions. Uh, you didn't have any law enforcement experience before you took that position? No. Um, and why did you leave the Memorial Day this past, this year? Um, I did not leave the this year. I did not leave the sheriff's office. I was asked to leave the sheriff's office. Was your position eliminated? Yes, my position was eliminated. Thank you.